okay hey guys and girls welcome back to another video now in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install um, uh, Parrot OS on VirtualBox now Parrot OS is very similar to Kali Linux but it has its own um, different advantages and disadvantages but the only reason I am using Parrot, um, Parrot OS for this um, this video and the next coming videos that I'm gonna do based on hacking is because Parrot OS has more advanced and the latest um, tools automatically and you don't have to install them and it's just I, I like the design and this is what I'm going to be using but then if you guys want to use Kali Linux it's up to you but for this um, demonstrations I'm going to be using um, Parrot OS so without any further ado I'm going to be showing you guys how to install this so <clears throat> to install this first of all you're going to need two things um, one of which is called uh, VirtualBox, um, of course, if you're gonna run a virtual OS, then you're gonna need VirtualBox or VMware. It's your personal preference. I know that VirtualBox is free, so I'm gonna be using that. And then you're gonna need the Parrot, Parrot OS um, disk image file, or other, as others call it, the ISO file. Now, once you have these, both of these downloaded, um, and if you don't know how to download these, I'll leave the um, download links in the description box down below, so you guys can go ahead and check it out for yourself. Now, <clears throat> It's a very easy installation process, so without wasting more time, I'm gonna get straight into this. Um, I'm quickly gonna fire up VirtualBox, create new, and I'm gonna name it Parrot. Um, and on the type, click on Linux and version. Go go ahead and click on other Linux and make sure it's 64 bit because that's um, that's the one I downloaded. Now, if you're not sure which one is yours, when you go ahead and click on download, um, you'll have two options: either 64 or 32 bit. Now, since I have a 64-bit um, processor, I am using a 64-bit. And if I don't know how, um, what, what um, your processor is at the 64 or 32, just go ahead and right-click on your PC and go to processors. Now, as you can see over here, mine is 64-bit, and therefore I am using 64-bit. Now, once you have these files downloaded, just go ahead and um, follow me now. So, <clears throat> just gonna name this like this. It's up to you, whatever you're gonna name it. I'm gonna click on next and I have 16 GB of RAM so I'm gonna give it 8 GB of RAM just to make it faster then create a new hard drive next next I'm gonna make my hard drive um, I'm gonna name I'm, I'm gonna make mine 100 GB I don't 100 GB is an overkill but I just I have a lot of space anyway so I'm just gonna use 100 GB um then VirtualBox Parrot, save, create. Now before you do anything, go ahead into settings and um, just make sure that um, a few settings are the same because if they're not, then the operating system may not run. So <clears throat> for the processor, um, make sure it's more than one CPU, at least two. I have four cores, I mean, I have eight cores, so I'm just gonna use four, you know, I, I want, as I said, I want it to be fast, right? So I'm gonna make this four cores and then <clears throat> I'm gonna go to back to motherboard as I said I set the RAM processor display I'm gonna make it full I'm gonna enable 3d acceleration um, remote video go back to system acceleration default um, <clears throat> I'm gonna disable floppy cuz I don't want it to interfere when I'm booting um, <clears throat> then yeah I think I enable 3d acceleration and then I'm finally gonna go here, click on this, select the ISO file to Parrot64, and finally I'm gonna set up the network. So network NAT, um, Intel Pro 1000, and I think that is it. So <clears throat> I'm gonna change this to, um, sorry, never mind, my bad. So there you go. So I'm just gonna click on OK, and I'm gonna start this. Now, I, I apologize if I talk way too fast, um, it's just how I speak English, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm used to speaking fast, so, um, if you want to f make this thing go full screen and it doesn't quite go full screen, don't worry, we'll, we'll be installing the drivers um, later, so, then I'm gonna go to here, I'm gonna go to install, I'm gonna go to install the GUI, Hold on, something's wrong. 
is gonna boot. There you go. <clears throat> so I'm gonna click on English, continue. Now I stay in Canada, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be using Canada. Um, it, it doesn't really matter unless you want it to be personalized, but of course I want mine. I'm gonna be using mine for a long period of time, so I'm just gonna leave mine um, to Canada. Okay, so I'm gonna ma name mine Fuzzy. Username for your account. Actually, I'm just gonna name it a Fuzzy. Choose a password. Um, I don't really want to put a password, but I'll just put my password as root for now. Eastern. Continue. Detect disks. Now, <clears throat> when you're here, make sure it's guided and use the entire disk. Continue. Um, continue again. All files. Continue. Finish partitioning. And continue. Write these changes to the disk. Yes. Now once that is done, the, ins the installation may take quite a while depending on your PC. Um, I'm quickly gonna skip forward just to make sure that I don't waste um, your watch time. Okay guys, so I had run into a technical difficulty and I have now fixed it. Um, if you guys get an error saying that there was no light dm just um make sure you go ahead and drop a comment and i'll make sure i'll tell you guys in detail on how to fix this issue um i had that issue and it took me quite some time to fix it but now it's fixed so there we go and looks like parrot OS is running just fine i'm gonna go ahead and check um if the screen resolution is gonna be um fixed in this one i'm not sure if it will um Okay, so there you go. Um, looks like my Parrot OS is working just fine and I'm gonna check for the network. Yep, it's connected. And there we go guys, that is it for today's video. There's a lot, a lot and a lot of new stuff coming up on this channel related to hacking um, and other technology videos. So if, if you guys wanna check out more um, simple tutorials, just make sure to go ahead and drop a subscribe. If you like the video, go ahead and drop a like. And if you had any problems during the installation of this video, um, leave it in the comment section down below. Or also, you can reach me out on my social media. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.